Thank you for watching Runalike Gaming. We're going to be doing a video on a M19 Swiss Draft. Um, as you can see, we're searching for players right now. So, uh, basically, it's going to be the best of three matches if you haven't watched this before. Uh, there will be th usually three more videos out for this one. This is, will be just the draft portion of it. Uh, so, if you do want to watch kind of what options I did have, and you can also comment below on what you think I might have been better off choosing in some circumstances. And we'll basically see if we have a better, um, a little bit better luck on this draft than the previous one. So spoilers on that one, it could have went a little bit better. Um, so I will pause this until uh, that particular time frame and we will begin when the draft starts. And welcome back. So. This would pretty much be the first hand, and I actually do see a pretty nice little dragon. It almost seems like this will probably be a good route to take. Um, yeah, so Bone Dragon, pretty solid flyer, 5 forward, yeah, like, and can easily come back. Um, so I almost think that's a gimme. There's a couple other decent choices here. Um, Satyr's really not that good. There's not a ton of enchantments in this particular one. Yeah, I mean, it's almost a give me at this point. I think we should just go Dragon. He's pretty good. So, we're at least going black. We'll probably splash into some other colors as well. So, in this case, I can do the, you know, 2-2 two, two for 1. I mean, it's always a solid choice. Can't go wrong with zombies. Uh, if I do want to go splashing black and white, I mean, it's not too bad having black and white lands. Archers. I think I might actually go archers here. Just because you can do a 2 for 1. I mean, it's a 3-3 three, three drop, and then he can also shoot down, like, a random token or whatever. So it might go that direction. Uh, let's see. Now, I don't think I want to splash all the way into blue and green as well as black, but yeah, these Skyrider patrols are actually pretty amazing, especially in like a, this particular type of format. And there's a battlefield dies, put top three cards of your library into your graveyard, so he basically mills myself. In a 40 card deck, it's not as ideal. Yeah, and we could do a little bit of mana accelerant. Uh, these guys aren't too bad for just you know small drains here and there. But I think as far as one drops go, I would kind of prefer the this guy over the one that mills myself. That three two flash wouldn't be too bad either. Uh, skellies are always good. You can just keep throwing them in front of things and blocking. Uh, actually, the vampire is still pretty good too. We don't have a whole lot of life gain, but I think uh, the four four is pretty solid, so we might grab him. So you may sacrifice another creature if you do. He gets plus two, plus two, and has menace. I mean, there's a chance that it may not be terrible to splash in the red. Three three menace. I mean, we can get some reanimation stuff, but like our dragon right now reanimates himself. The. Oh, we didn't grab the skelly, but yeah, hopefully we get a skeleton on one of the next ones. Um, this may not be a terrible point to try splashing a little red. I think that might be our direction we're going. Yeah, not quite there. Destroy target land. Creature with flying can't block this turn. I mean, that gives us a little trick. I don't mind having them sometimes, but... Uh... A land destruction, maybe? Otherwise... I mean, these guys are pretty solid, too. I mean, it's a 3-5 if I don't run blue. It's not terrible. I'm sure I'm going to regret this, but let's go ahead and pull that. So, 
basically double cast, but I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot of spell casting. I was thinking maybe grabbing some of the fire axes and stuff, which do like five points of damage at some point. Uh, whenever it attacks, opponent loses two life. It's not, it's not the worst thing ever. Uh, a little bit of bringing things back from the dead may not be a terrible plan either. I'm not at, yeah, we'll grab the zombie. I don't like it, but we'll keep it. A 4-2 menace. Attack creature, get plus 2, plus 0. Oh. I can grab another menace guy. So, that would allow us to basically shoot over and hit someone, depending on the power of whatever our creature is. It may not be a terrible direction to go, especially if they don't have creature control. I might actually grab that, because I'm sure I'm going to get some of the riders. Uh, mine rot. Creature I control, get trample, draw a card. I mean, it's a nice little cantrip. I like cantrip, so... Uh, again, I'm not a big fan of that guy, so I think we might act a trees and just kind of put the additional pressure on in some circumstances. Then... It's kind of a toss-up between the Sovereign Bite. I kind of want that one. Yeah, let's just go Sovereign Bite. Act of trees was a really good one, too, I think. Um... Reanimation or plus three first strike. We'll just do reanimation. And we'll just fog this over there. And island. But, yeah, I'm pretty confident with the, the dragon, but that being said, I was decently confident last time, too, so, I mean, take that as you want. But, um... I know it's probably not the thing to draw in this particular case, but I might take the angel. She's really good. Even though I may not actually use her in a deck, um... We're just gonna call that a drafting for value. I might regret that one because I had some skellies and fire axe and stuff in there, but I'm sure some of those things will come back. Because unfortunately I don't think I'll have enough white. I could potentially do it if I... Because a lot of these are single red, single black. But I do feel that's a really risky thing since green doesn't generally have a lot of mana fixing. Jumping into white for... Yeah, that'd be extremely risky. Alright, come on, Mr. Birds of Paradise. Mr. Jeff Magic. So... I think, like, Skeletons would be a good one, just because it's good to have a ton of chump blockers, just over and over and over. And reassembling are pretty nice for that. Let's see what our mana curve looks like. We have a pretty well-rounded one so far. Um, Drake, at the beginning of your upkeep, you gain one life. I can sack it for a card. I mean, that would definitely... I mean, it's obviously not an ideal first choice, but um, it would just be a nice little delay tactic. Hostile Minotaur might actually be a really good choice here. Yeah, I think 3-3 three, three Haste is kind of where we want to go. Um, I mean, we can double cast, but we don't have a lot of spells now. I know these guys are actually pretty good, too, since when it enters the battlefield... Uh, it can also shoot, like, a player or planeswalker as well. Or, actually, I might just go Lava Axe. I mean, it is 5 damage, so... 
and it's kind of formatted it's not too terrible because I don't think the dual cast is coming back but I figure grabbing a couple of these lava axes might just kind of because let's say if you're like you know 10 damage in a lava axe does cut pretty you know deep into that So we could go another skeleton, just kind of further double dip into that, because these stitchers are pretty bad. Just combat damage to a player, you may draw a card, not as good. Yeah, I think we're going skellies. Because later game, it's very common just to have a ton of like, um, you know, extra mana just sitting around and throwing it into skeletons isn't too bad. Um, so 2-2 two -two Flyer. Since it has evasion, you know, we have this 4-2 here. A couple mana fixers. I think pretty much our best bet might be the 2-2 two -two Flyer. Destroy Dark Artifact. I mean, it would be a bad sideboard if I play against like the blue artifact. Uh, blue Black Land. 2 1, 3 2 Menace. I mean, it, Menace is pretty good. I mean, it's a sort of evasion. Uh, they basically have to chump block it with more stuff, so I mean, it's not terrible either. Creature uh, to control get trampled. It also cantrips. We might actually grab another Lava Axe. As much as I'd like to get another Lava Axe, um, I think Skeletons may not be too bad. I mean, we'd be at three. And we'll go with that. We'll have Chump Blockers for days. Five, four for five. It's not terrible. And then we're looking at. I'm not particularly excited about this one, so it's almost probably just going to go straight to sideboard. Or I can just get rid of some sort of hate. I don't have a ton of flyers. This is actually kind of annoying. Actually, it's rid of the bounce. Bounces are even more annoying. A double cast? Just on the off chance I can lava axe twice? Uh, we'll consider it. This creature dies, draw a card, plus two, plus O. Oh. We'll just throw a sideboard for now. Artifact or enchantment, I won't have those. Sideboard, sideboard. Sun Cleanser, eh. Seven damage to target creature. I mean, it would be a good way just to drop something massive. But I kind of want to go full on aggro, is kind of my hope here. So I think another act of treason. I think the general gist of what we're going to try to do is basically try to just steal their creatures if they become bigger than ours. And if they are becoming bigger than ours, we'll kind of like sideboard in. Um, or take them out if need. Or if they don't have big creatures, we'll be able to take them out. Uh, Liliana's uh, contract, probably not as ideal. To a creature and opponent controls equal the number of goblins. So he's at least doing one damage. I'm not sure how many goblins I have. I'm sure it'd be most of the reds. Like, yeah, so there's... Yeah, it's a maybe two or three tops. I mean, but it still shoots for one, so it's not terrible. And six five. Yeah, let's grab the veteran. I mean, the one's not bad. Um, we might grab it just because, I mean, there is an act of trees and a dress, so I'm sure I might regret this, but let's just grab it. Um, so 
So black Greenland. Discard a card, draw two cards. I think we might just go with another beater, 5-4. Uh, he's not too bad, I mean, if he dies, so it's kind of like chump blockers, but I think I got my chump blocker thing kind of dealt with, because there's three reassembling skeletons. Ideally, most games I should have at least one, just kind of being cycled through. Gives me a mana ramp. It's kind of weird. Gain one life. Target creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number amount of life you gain this round. I don't have a ton of life gain, but I do have a little. So it does give me some creature control, but it's not particularly ideal. So we might actually. Sideboard, yeah, we'll just sideboard that. Flash creature, 3-3 three, three haste. I mean, another 3-3 three, three haste wouldn't be terrible. We can do a little bit of ramp. I think, yeah, it's just... Blue-white. I almost want to take a Johnny just so it doesn't... There's fewer of them and, well... Um... Yeah, we'll just grab another 5-4. I think we're going to sideboard some of those out, because it's quite a bit of them. I think a Duress would be good here. Actually, that's even better. I can just reanimate some of their creatures if we kill them, so... Do I mean gutter snipe's not the worst thing ever? I mean, you sell it two two for three. Worst case scenario, but um, I do have some sorceries and stuff, so it's actually maybe not the worst idea. And that can throw haste on things, so I drop a big beater, pump it with haste. Not terrible either. Maybe we'll stick with that. Green, blue stuff. So I wasn't a big fan of dealing with that. I don't have flyers. And we're still at sideboard. Black and green land. And we'll just throw that sideboard too. Not that we need it or anything. I guess we'll get rid of this fog. So that should be the whole draft there. And um so the mana curve isn't too bad off, but um again we are pretty top heavy here. So we're at thirty-two. So what do we got? It's a thud. It's a way to kind of shoot damage over on one of our big guys. So let's say if we swing with a 5-4, we can then basically use that almost like as a way to almost like lava axe someone. So I think the thud we should probably keep. The motivator, I mean, it's a nice little trick, but I don't know if that one's ideal. Um, crash through, I mean, it's a cantrip, so it does thin the deck a little bit. And it kind of gives me a little bit of trick to, you know, give everything trample until in a turn. He's a 0-3, he's not too bad, he works as a pretty good blocker. The double cast I'm a little wary of. I mean, there's that chance for, like, the occasional, like, Lava Axe with a double cast on it. You know, blast for, like, 10 damage. Uh, Sovereign Bite. Yeah, I mean, I guess technically I could also, like, dual cast a Sovereign Bite, for example, out of 4 mana. Which ends up being, like, a 12-point swing, so... 
you know, the target player loses six life, I gain six. Three reassembling skeletons. Return two creatures from the discard pile. Discard one. For now, we're going to cut that. That might come back later, but... Uh, gutter snipe, just because I do think that the value of that might be there, since I do have a couple active treasons, double cast, sovereign bites, etc. It might be able to put just a little bit of extra damage to kind of put pressure on. Uh, menace, I mean, it is sort of an evasion. It's not quite flying or anything, but, I mean, if they have to chump block with two things, that means other things die, hopefully. Act of Treason. 2-2 two, two Flyer. He's always done really well, too, with just, like, being a chump blocker in the air sometimes, which is really nice. So if I have to deal with a bunch of flyers and stuff, that's pretty useful sometimes. Uh, Hired Blade. He kind of doubles as a nice little trick sometimes, as far as as they attack, drop down, you know, hit something for three. What did we throw on Sideborn? Yeah, we did the Nightmare's Thirst. And the Enchant thing. Destroy Artifact. Yeah, so nothing to it. Okay. So, Infectious Horror. I'm a little bit hesitant about this one. It's just not as much bang for your buck when it comes to like what it's going to hit with. And it's only a 2-2. Two -two. I mean, I'm almost better off getting, like, say, one of these Minotaurs that are a 3-3 three -three that has haste. You know, because it hits the ground and just smacks them. So I might drop that for the time being. Skeleton Archers, mostly because they can go 2 for 1. So I can drop it, shoot one of their 1-1s. One so it might not be a bad idea. Uh, and there's a battlefield that deals damage. Uh, so this is most likely doing 1 to 2 points of damage. Because uh, most of our stuff are not goblins. I think we have like Gutter Snipe. I don't think any of our black creatures would be. And then the Volley himself. But otherwise, we have a pretty big shortage of just goblins in general. However, even with him coming by himself, he might kill like a 1 1 creature. Uh, possibly if Gutter Snipe was out, he might shoot like a 2 2. So, I mean, I don't think it's a terrible idea. It just kind of depends what we're playing against. Uh, the Ogre Warriors, again, Menace, can do some decent amount of damage. Uh, whenever he attacks, you may sacrifice another creature if you do. You know, you can also get plus two, plus two, so you can become a 5-5 five, five if needed. So, like, I can... I don't think there'll be much in the way of tokens on my side, but... You know, if I do reanimate something of theirs that has tokens, then that could be a thing. Uh, the mostly I'm keeping him because he is a four four at five. So I mean, the secondary ability if it triggers, it triggers. It'd be nice. But um, and then rise from the grave. That's going to use something of theirs. So if I do start killing some of their stuff, it's not too bad. Uh, he has pretty good um survival. So even if they do kill him, he can come back. And then lava axes are hopefully to kind of edge out the last bit of damage. Uh, the fire element is I'm a little worried about. I might drop one for now. And we probably want to drop about two more things, ideally. And I think... If I were to guess, I think this probably should be one. Though a cantrip is nice, I mean, it's just replacing itself. Uh, you might get the random trick of, like, giving everything trample and it runs over a bunch of stuff, but, like, ideally, we should just have more stuff on the board than them. I mean, double cast is kind of in that same boat that I kind of think that might be one of the next ones. I mean, this can actually stop a bunch of their flyers, however... I 
think this is actually my next one I should get rid of. Now that might be one I might sideboard in if I just want to put a little extra pressure on that direction, but... Uh, yeah, so we're just going to probably do 7, 7. I like to add a couple extra in just because if... Um, if we want to put extras in there, then it'll be on our sideboard to do so. So, if you think I should have done a little bit different of a direction with what I'm doing with my deck, uh, definitely leave it in the comments below and let me know. Um, as far as this goes, um, we'll see how it plays out. So you'll probably see in the next three games whether you know this was done pretty well or not. And hopefully it should be a little bit better than in our last game, but I think we have a couple little tricks up our sleeve here. You know, because we can thud some of our creatures through. So even if a couple of these swing through and get a little bit of damage through, you know, we might build a Lava Axe and Thud for, you know, the finishers, so... I do feel that, um... You know, we have a pretty decent amount going here. So, yep, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Um, also, we can also act a trees in one of their creatures and then Thud it. So, I mean, there's gonna be some cool stuff we can possibly do with it, but we'll see how it actually plays out when we go to our first game. Uh, thank you for watching Run Like Gaming, and we'll see what happens on the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.